I'm Julius, Julius Njogona. I'm the hair technician at Harko Industries. Heat comes in, in different ways. The direct heat that we are talking about is the heat that we use through appliances. We get our hair through appliances, things like blow dry, which give, we call it dry heat. Blow dryers and then we have flat irons. We have people who use tongs. We have people who use like uh, the hot combs and all that. So these ones, they, they give dry heat on your scalp. Now the first thing that they do, they damage the outer layer of your, of your hair. This one means the hair cuticles get damaged. And when the hair cuticles get damaged, they expose the inner layers of your hair. So this one means like your hair starts to decolorize, you start, your, your hair color starts fading, and basically your hair starts breaking. The hair growth, it's, um, it, this is something that is internal. It's something like uh, determined by other factors. Like for example, there are things that we inherit from our parents. There are people with very long hair, that one you can't avoid. We have people who inherit hair that is, goes to only to a certain length, the density of your hair and all that. So when it comes to braiding, what the, what the braiding does, it only prevents you from daily comping, over processing your hair with hot irons and all that. But when it comes to growth of your hair, it's basically that something that comes from inside your body. If your hair is growing from the root and then breaking from the tip, your hair won't grow long. So in essence, what you're supposed to make sure is that to make sure at any given point, our hair is not cutting from the tips. If you already have split ends, let no one lie to you in this world. There's nothing that is going to mend them. Just cut them. The only way to, mean, to make sure like your hair doesn't split is first of all to make sure like your hair it's always very well conditioned. It's soft and easy to comp. When you talk about the hair breakage, we are talking about the already existing hair that you have mm -hmm. breaking from the mid, be from the mid length or from from the tips. But when you talk about the hair loss, hair loss is when you lose your hair from the roots. It can either be natural or most of the thing is the services that we do. Like we mentioned about like the blow drying and the hot appliances. Mm -hmm. So they always make your hair weak. And at that point, your hair will your hair will break. We have a lot of myths in, in hair, a lot of myths. Some, as in, they come up with like, uh, what am I going to use? You found people like um, applying treatments, it's normal. We have had people applying sodas on hairs, with people like mix of acadol. Either way, if I stay with this treatment for a very long time, overnight, or maybe in the morning you shower, you wash your hair, you put it on, mm -hmm. and now you start washing your hair, your clothes, numba, and then you, you rinse your hair in the evening, mm -hmm. people tend to think like your hair is going to be, to get, you're going to get better results. Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. you're not going to get better results. Mm -hmm. You're only going to get better results as per the first maximum 22 minutes. So that's one of the myths that I would really, really like people to know. You don't have to stay with a treatment for more than... If you're going under a dryer, maximum 15 minutes is perfectly good. If you're doing it at home, just put it on a shower cap, no more room temperature, 20 minutes, just rinse it off, you get the better results. That's one of the myths that I would really, really like to talk about. So guys, just avoid. People are, are unable to differentiate between something we call flaky scalp and scalp with dandruff. If you have very dry scalp, at this point you may not experience dandruff, you may experience what we call flakes. You get them because you have dry scalp. Dandruff is something that it's like a condition or a disease. To get rid of the dandruff or the flaky scalp, the first thing we need to do is to make sure like our scalp is clean. So just make sure first of all the product that you use, it's not leaving you with residues on the scalp. If you have very dry scalp, avoid daily shampooing. If you're going to use uh, products with uh, sulfate, your natural oils, is not, oils are not going to be there. Your scalp is going to be exposed. Your scalp is going to be dry. You treat our hair, regardless it's relaxed or it's natural. If, for example, you have your, your, your scalp, you have a lot of dandruff that have gone way beyond, you can use a treatment that's specifically meant for dandruff. If your hair is breaking, now you're going to have an anti-breakage treatment. So if you, you have natural hair, at some point, it gets, it's going to get dry. So you'll need to put in a lot of moisture. Now what the relaxer does, relaxer breaks the hair bones. The bones that holds your natural curl. So the relaxer breaks them. When they are broken, your hair becomes straight. Now when they are broken, it's a permanent thing. You cannot reverse that. 
So if you have a relaxer, you cannot reverse that. You have to let the hair grow or you cut it off. Texturizing is like relaxing the hair. But at this point, the number of bones that you break are way minimum. You are still going to have your, your natural curl. It may move from 4C, for, let's say for example, to, to 3B. Afro-Caribbean hair is naturally wavy or curly. This one means it's not defined. The only way, as in scientists came up with, is to, to, to categorize the curliness of our hair, the degree of curl in our hair. Now, the curl formation has nothing to do with the health of your hair. If you have 2C, you have 4B or something. First of all, that has nothing, absolutely nothing to do with the strength of your hair, with the elasticity of your hair, with the porosity of your hair. It does nothing. The advantage of you knowing where your hair falls, it becomes easy for you to know the kind of hairstyles that you, your hair can hold. It also becomes very easy for you to know the type of products that you may need to use, especially when it comes to treatments. I have seen people use it, people say it's growing their hair and all that, but I can't like uh, back it up with any scientific like uh, or theory or something like that, yes, currently I cannot, I can't.